Hello, hello. Welcome to our surroundings is a little bit different. Uh, we're just having our prayer and fasting service. We have it for the month of September. We've been doing that since 1985. I was getting ready to go to Africa and the Lord told me to set aside 30 days to do a prayer and fasting service. So I did and it was just me and a couple of people and we wound up doing that. I did for the whole month. Uh, a couple of them lasted a week or two. Uh, but uh, so we just enjoy it. And every year the Lord said, do it. So we just do it every year. And every year all kind of testimonies happen. And it's kind of interesting. We came home from the prayer and fasting service one year. And we was just, we was watching a Christian program. And uh, this guy knew a lot about uh, history and things of the church. Not necessarily the church, but of, uh, history and uh, Christian history and he was talking about that that uh, sometimes uh, September even through October and also sometimes a couple of weeks before that that the that the certain groups uh, even through Bible groups uh, was doing time of prayer and fasting so I thought that was kind of neat of course all Isaiah and other scriptures talk about that the only thing I have this year is uh, the Lord said, just stick with what you've been doing. Uh, not every year, but what we've been doing every day. We meet together, a small group of us, and we go over. Uh, the Lord gave this to me a few years back, and we pray it every night, every day before we go to bed, and everybody sleeps better. And... Uh, if you can follow along with us, if you want to, where you can put it in your phone. Of course, you'll have it on video here. And um, there's no need in reinventing the wheel. If the wheel's still round and it goes around, 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 that's all that matters. So we go right. This is a, like a daily devotional, but uh, the Lord's sense in it. It's really, really apropos for what's going on in our country right now. So it's good just to keep everything bathed in prayer and prayer and fasting too. It says, why do we pray the way we pray? First Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 through 2. First of all, we pray for all the people in authority that we live a quiet and peaceable life. Matthew six thirty three. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things are added unto us. Psalms 118, verse 17, everybody in my family and the people in authority, they live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. And President Trump and his cabinet, his family, is Psalms 118, verse 25, we're now prosperous. We are now healed. We're now set free. We're now delivered from worldly passions in the Trump family is Psalms 91. We walk in divine health, wealth, and prosperity. We are the healed, saved, set free, and delivered. And we walk in divine protection. Romans 8, 11, The people in authority, the Trump administration, and President Trump is quickened in their mortal body. 2 Timothy 1, 7, God hadn't given Trump or his administration the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Ephesians 1, 16 and 17, That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ will give unto us a spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge of Jesus, that the eyes of our understanding are enlightened. We know what the hope of our calling is, an exceedingly great power that works on the inside of us. Isaiah fifty four seventeen. No weapon formed against Trump administration will prosper. Every tongue that rises up against will not prosper. No weapon formed against him will prosper. And every tongue... But rise up against him is condemned. First Peter 2.24, by his stripes were healed. Isaiah 53.5, by his stripes were healed. Psalms 51.12, the joy of our salvation. Thank you, Lord. We are restored to the joy of our salvation. We have a free spirit. John 14.26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, will come and teach us and lead us and guide us and direct us in every area of life. Matthew eight seventeen and John fourteen twenty six. 
and we having our Ephesians 3.20 life more than you could think, dream, or imagine. Matthew 8.17, sin, sickness, and disease is a thing of the past. It's gone, 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 now, now, now. It's been removed from us. Sin, sickness, and disease is removed from us. Luke 10, 2, we send labors through the Trump administration. Godly people, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. We bind and gag them in Jesus' name. Luke 10, 2, release labors to the Trump family, friends, neighbors, acquaintances, people that love us, people that hate us, people that bless us, people that even try to curse us. But every seat's filled and every person's filled, a unity of faith church, a real church, for real people with real answers that have real faith. We have that have real answers and we have real faith. We have now Deuteronomy 8.18, the power of wealth. I have trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars to get the gospel out in a greater way. First Peter 4 7, the end the world's coming to is coming to the end the world's coming soon. So we are disciplined in our prayer life. Glory. And Isaiah 55, 5, God has sent to us nation and nations, and we obey and they obey. Amen. So I want you to get tuned up in prayer and fasting. Maybe you've never been on a prayer and fasting uh, time. I know there's all kind of teachings that say you shouldn't uh, tell people that you're praying and fasting and all this stuff. If that was true, then Jesus should have left it out of the Bible and not know, let nobody know he, they're praying and fasting. <laughs> he spoke to whole nations to pray and fast. And so uh, there's nothing wrong with people knowing you're praying and fasting. So just enjoy your life and you can fast all different ways. Uh, really, it's designed that, you know, usually most people eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, those are the times we have prayer fasting, and then we meet together like we did tonight. Uh, that's three times. So, uh, you know, you do it however the Lord leads you. Some people fast in three meals and then they eat at night, or some people fast during the day, then they eat at night. And some people fast breakfast and then they eat lunch and dinner. And some people only eat dinner and some people don't eat dinner i mean there's a lot of different let the lord lead you on that we're not going to tell you how to do how the lord speaks to you you have to figure that out for yourself and there's some people that you know eating salads and stuff and then there's some people just eating whatever they want to but they just eat one meal and then there's some people that uh fast uh one day then the next day they eat and the next day they fast, and the next day they eat. You can do it like that, however you want to do it. And, of course, there's some people, uh, as I, I don't know if they're really serious, but they said, yeah, when I go to sleep, I fast all night, then I eat in the morning. So most people, uh, okay, most people don't uh, fast in while they're asleep anyway, but I guess you could count that hours and uh, and then you know, this time of prayer and fasting. So this is a more of a guidelines that we'll went over here. You can write your own out and follow along. And uh, But we're definitely praying for our nation. We're praying for individuals, our families. We're praying for areas. Uh, we're praying uh, all down through their divine health, wealth, prosperity you can go back and watch this we're going to hit this probably every night unless the lord says something different and uh, so it'd be a great time and we're going to encourage you to hit it every night if you can every day with us when we have these videos and then of course we'll have sunday sunday morning church at 11 o'clock and then we'll have sunday night at six and then on Wednesday at 7, you're more than welcome to come or participate with us on here. Be a part of what's going on. We can't do nothing but help you. Have a great one. Have a good one. God bless.